I realize I never finished updating you guys on my accomplishments and failures of 2023. So why not do it now? Let's start with goal number one. To become a better, more organized, efficient father slash man. All this goal really meant is that I wanted to be more organized, more punctual, and just have my stuff together. Let's go. Oh, it's closed. Okay, see ya. Hey, we're on time though. What do we do? What do we do if it's closed? Oh, you can give a knock and I'll oh, sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Day. You too. That's the bell. So, how did I do with goal number one? Well, I think I did pretty well. For starters, real estate taught me a ton about managing time and staying organized because these are two skills that you absolutely have to have in order to properly represent your clients. On top of this, finding the perfect partner like Addy to have by my side and help me with any struggle I have has enhanced my life so much that I can quite easily say this is the best I've ever been as a father and a man. Making this goal 100% achieved and accomplished. Oh, hello. I noticed you didn't go to school this morning. No? And you're eating candy for breakfast? Are you even sick anymore? I can't go to school because I still have a throat. Sore throat? Sore throat, yeah. but... Yeah, she came down with strep. But I don't think you should be eating candy for breakfast. I think you should eat some real food and then have some candy. I don't think this is real food, Mama. You need like some oatmeal or some soup. You want some soup? Candy. Candy, no. There we go, Alea. That looks like a better breakfast. And good morning. Good morning. Good morning, little one. Your breakfast looks good too. Second goal of 2023 was to film 104 videos. That's two a week, okay? We can commit to that. We could achieve that. I was 100% certain I was gonna accomplish this goal, especially when you consider that I filmed 44 videos in only 44 days. Well, for the remainder of that year, I only posted 16 more videos. <laughs> well, that's a lot. I don't know where I got that number from. It was actually six, meaning I only posted 50 videos that year. So I failed, but it was good for me because for the first time in over eight years, I got to completely step away from the internet. It's really helped me appreciate the life I've gotten to live while I was making these videos and helped resensitize myself to how amazing and beautiful my life has been. Goal wise, this was still a failure, an absolute failure, but it was a failure that really benefited me. You know, originally I bought this as my dining room table and I'm glad I didn't use it because this thing is way smaller than I expected. It will be perfect though as a desk. Oh yeah, look at that. Definitely won't be making 104 videos by the end of this year in here, but I did need a space where I could edit away from the rest of the house, and this room is the only place to really do that. Third bullet of 2023 was to stay in shape and work out at least 313 days out of the 365. <laughs> Yeah, I've managed to stay in pretty good shape. Although there was about a month there where I did let myself go a bit. Luckily, I did notice it, was able to correct it, and bounce back pretty quickly. I didn't work out six days a week like I originally intended to, but I did learn that if you're just trying to maintain shape, three to four days is more than enough. Any more than that, and I would say you're trying to improve the shape that you are currently in. That being said, I think I accomplished this goal as well. Phenomenal workout as always, but now let's go pick up those two little ones from school. How was school, kids? Good. Good. Did you guys learn something new? No, no, you clearly haven't learned very much at school. Cause you would know that's dangerous. Did you guys have fun at least? Yes. Yay! A little out of the way, I couldn't hear you. Yay! Still not loud enough. Bump it up a little more. Yeah. One last time. One last time. 
<laughs> She's tying up laughter. Now goal number four, I'm really proud of because originally I just wanted to sell one house. In order to consider myself a real real estate agent, I have to at least sell one house. Well, if you watched my Becoming a Real Estate Agent video, you'll know that I ended up selling four homes in my first 90 days, absolutely smashing this goal. Most, most agents out here only do three to four deals a year. That's in my first 60 days, guys. This goal alone was more impactful and life-changing than I could have ever imagined. You see, real estate not only allowed me to regain confidence in myself and my own capabilities, but it also led me to the most perfect woman I could have ever imagined, and I'm so, so, so thankful for it. Finding her has also led me to buying my own place, which I didn't want to do for at least a few more years. And so like I said, real that just, that decision of trying to sell a house had a butterfly effect way bigger than I could have ever imagined and I'm so grateful to have said it. So many beautiful things came from it. Babe, you ever think about how different our lives would have been if we never joined real estate? All the time. I know, right? No, I literally think about it all the time. So it's the same for you. That one choice made a monumental impact on the rest of your life? Yes, I'm so sorry. Ignore the dishes, let's just turn this one. <laughs> so embarrassing. Let's talk about goal number five. And this, this was an interesting one because it was one that I didn't talk about very much here on this channel. Do you guys remember these apartments? As we speak, somebody's currently working on their goal to find more passive income by building these apartments. Well, since we've last saw them, they've been finished being developed with tons of people living inside them, meaning that somebody is making passive income collecting those rents every single month. That was my fifth goal of 2023, to find a form of passive income, and I used apartments as the example in particular because I was actually working on building some apartments down in LA myself. Back in 2022, when I sold my home, I took all the money I made and poured it into these apartments with three other investors. Well, since then, unfortunately, rates have skyrocketed, making everything about this project much more expensive. On top of that, getting our plans approved by the city for this project has been a massive headache, and it's delayed our construction for over a year now. These two massive. Massive problems have led the other investors and I to not want to pour any more money into this thing. We're hoping, we're hoping that these plans are finally going to get approved here in the next few months and then we're just going to sell those plans with the lot ready to build, hoping to just make our money back. This goal, this goal hurts me a lot. Ugh, this was another failure. But like with every failure, I learned a lot and I can't say I regret it. I'm glad, I'm glad I got over the hardest step which is just getting started. Yo, look who's back. It's Emmy. What a long time no see. Anyways, I came home and the fam was playing games, so I was like, say less. Peace out. Thank you for coming. That was a blast. Drive safe. Yeah, we'll do this more often. See ya. Now the final goal for 2023 was to post at least once a week on Instagram and or TikTok. This was the goal that I did the absolute worst with. I can't even say I tried because I really didn't. I didn't apply myself at all towards this goal, which makes me wonder why I even made it in the first place. That is entirely my fault though, and I've got nobody else to blame. I only posted six times that year, and I think I've already done almost double that this year. Okay, so I accomplished three but failed three goals, averaging to a 50%, which is technically a failure by any test standards. But I consider 2023 one of my most successful years ever, one of the best years ever. You wanna know why? Because I found something that betters me in every way, shape, and form, including every goal I just went over. What I found was my soulmate. Oh, what are you talking about? You don't even know this, but every single goal I set for myself last year 
you helped me get closer to accomplishing. For example, being a more efficient father slash man, by us tackling every obstacle together, you've helped me accomplish that without even trying. You make life so exciting, fun, and make me feel so loved that it allows me to be creative again. You, you make making content fun again, and if it weren't for you, the last half of last year, I don't think I would've started making videos as soon as I did. You're naturally so beautiful that it makes me want to be in shape for you and it makes me want to try harder. And it just allows me to put that extra effort into being in good physical shape so that you have something to be proud of. On top of that, you bettered me as an agent. You helped keep that deal alive when it was falling apart. We bought your childhood home, which is the perfect opportunity for us to turn into our first investment property which is something that I failed at miserably on my own. And you even uploaded a TikTok that got over 20 million views. That is something that I don't think, even if I posted every single day, I could accomplish. Yes, you could. And, no, and I'm so, I'm yes, so proud. Babe, I've, I've posted on TikTok before. I know, but you like not enough. You killed it. You yeah, but I, I posted more than you at that point, and you, you smashed yes, it. But you're way more creative than my, me. My point, no, my point is you have bettered me in every single way, shape, and form because I wanted to post more, but you ended up doing it without me having to tell you, without you even knowing that any of these goals were, that I was chasing. I don't think I ever told you exactly what I was doing in 2023, what my goals were. And so you've bettered every single one of them without even knowing and trying, and that is truth, truly mind-blowing. 2023 was a success, was a success because I found you. So thank you.